Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and uh, welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial series. In this tutorial, uh, we are going to look at the carve tool, and we're going to make some little windows that we can see, you know, outside for, in the next level, uh, sorry, the next tutorial, we're going to look at adding in the door. But we're going to go ahead and make some small windows so, like, we can see outwards and see what's out there. Now, the one thing I want to mention is, uh, if you run into any issues or anything like that, um, you know, comment below or you can join the Discord. And if you join the Discord, uh, you know, I'll do my best to help you uh, where, when and where I can. Okay, so how our level is going to kind of go, we're going to have our door there. It's going to come out. You have our windows and we're going to have like an open area out here. And then we're going to have a raised platform where we're eventually going to put a ladder. And basically, I'm going to make two separate routes uh, that the player can go uh, to get to the next part. And what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to look at the carve tool and some of the issues that you may or may not run into when using the carve tool. Now, the carve tool is a perfectly fine tool to use. It's just there's a few things about it that you need to be aware of. Um, so, But the first thing we're going to do is, you see down here, I have my snap on grid set to 16. Uh, we were working in 32, and we hit the left bracket, you can lower it. You can also raise or lower it right here. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to bring in all of these uh, walls here, just, you know, ever so slightly. And we're also going to bring this in, and we're going to bring this up as well. Now, if you're wondering how I was just, uh, you know, zipping through that little bit here in the 3D viewport, uh, I was holding space and then left mouse. Okay, so is this 16? Yep, that's 16. So we just want to raise it up. And then we want to grab this here. That's also set to 16. We want to drag it in. Let's see. This one is already set to 16. I believe ah yes it is okay we'll grab this one this one is this one needs to be brought in just a little bit there I believe uh yeah that needs to be brought in okay there we go grab it by the corner there okay so I think everything looks yep everything looks good Okay, so, uh, and I believe I mentioned this in the very first tutorial, but you do want a, you do want to use as few uh, brushes as humanly possible. Um, I actually want to just double check this one right here really quick. Oh, interesting. Ah. There we go. Just want to make sure that, you know, everything's okay far as this goes um let's see actually no nope. okay this is this is this is fine okay uh so what i want to do now is i want to select the floor and then in the top viewport here i just want to drag it out just a little ways and yes okay so i was looking at the back there uh that should be enough room i'll, I'll drag it over like one more 640 I also noticed that this is also not 16. Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, so actually I think what I'll do here is I'm gonna move this, be flush with that, I'm gonna grab this. Ah, that's what was set to uh, 32. Like I said, you gotta you gotta really work, uh, you know, from the get go, um, in the correct scale, because changing it later can be a bit of a pain. But as you can see, totally doable. Now, as I was saying, you want to use the appropriate amount of brushes in your level, like as much as, uh, you know, you want to use as much as you need. But anywhere you can optimize and only have one brush is pretty good. However, there are some instances where you don't necessarily want to do that 
like in this case, we're going to have a raised up platform here. So as you can see, I already have my dev texture selected, which is for the floor. And we're just going to go on ahead and go over here and we're going to, we're going to model this raised platform uh, really quick. And we don't want it to be that tall, I don't think. Uh, let's see. How tall do we want it to be? Hmm. That seems plenty tall. If, if we need more, we can always raise it. And we'll just hit enter. And awesome. Okay. Now, how do we, you know... Let's go ahead and select our wall because now we're mostly going to be working in wall pieces for a little bit. So how do we like say, you know, apply, you know, a different texture? Well, we can open up the texture application and then we can shift, sorry, control click uh, any faces that we want to be a new texture. And we can go to browse and then select the orange and then hit apply. And there you go. You now have, you know, some beautiful new textures there. And everything, of course, is keeping the same flow there. Okay, so we're just going to go on ahead and make ourselves a new brush. So make sure, you, again, you're in the brush tool, Shift B. And we just want this raised. I moved it. We just want this raised up pretty tall because you, know, you got to factor in like the player and stuff like that. Uh, that might actually be a little too tall. Let's go down just one. Let's hit enter. Uh, I'm going to type in player and look for the player start. Just plonk it in really quick. Uh, that is a little tall, but it gives just enough. Okay. So that's good enough. All right. So now we'll shift B again, and we're just going to block this out. Awesome. And we'll just do the same thing over here. And we'll hit enter. And that should be fine. We'll save that. And now we're just going to select our floor piece here. And now what we're going to do, or sorry, our floor texture, is we are going to block in the level. Move that up one. And there we go. So this will be our ceiling. Okay. Now, one issue you're going to run into with the carve tool, and we're going to show this literally right now, and then I'll show you, uh, you know, how this should be done, is I'm going to select this right here. So, so I have it highlighted, just to make sure I'm working on the right little spot here. And I'm just going to drag a piece, another new brush. And, and right about there should be good. I think I'll take it up one, maybe like that. It's, it's 32... Uh, let's see. That should be about flush with the player. Okay, we're going to hit enter. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to tools and we're going to hit carve. And then we'll just delete it. And as you can see, we have a hole inside of our new geometry. Now, here's an interesting tip. If we select the selection tool, it is actually still one brush. But if we were to scale it and move it up, you'll notice that the hole follows. In other words, it's not a separate part of it. So, you know, it's stretched and it went upwards. Because if you remember, we actually do have a hole here. So what is the appropriate way to fix this? Well, I'm just going to undo that ever so slightly. And I will leave that there. And I'm going to move this backwards. And I'm going to grab this brush right here. And I will drag it all the way up. And then I'll drag this brush over slightly. And now it's completely flush. And since I can't stand that sort of mess, I will move it back slightly and then grab this brush. And then plug the hole. And then I'll go over here. And I will do the exact same thing. Grab this. And I will bring it over. Now, there is a bit of an issue there, um, but we can easily fix that by just dragging it up in the top viewport. 
And again, there will be a bit of a hole right there. So I think what I'll do is... I mean, this really doesn't matter. It's more of like, it, what kind of matters, but it's more of an aesthetic choice right now. And it's totally driving me crazy. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just maneuver the floor back. And then I'll just grab this. And I'll just bring it all the way down. And then what I'll do is I will just plug this. And then bring this down. Nah, enter. Okay, problem solved. My OCD and all the issues with not wanting anything like that fully exposed is fixed. And now what we can do is we can select our little carve piece here. And I don't necessarily want it right there. Uh, I want it over slightly, just a little bit. And what we'll do again is we will carve this out. And then I will drag another one way over here. And I'll carve that out. And then I'll delete it. And then we will save it. And as you can see, we now have two uh, lovely little windows. And for this little area out here, I'm going to make a brand new light. And I'll just plonk it right there. And I will drag it up ever so slightly. And I think I'll put it kind of in the middle. All right, let me just drag it down one. Awesome. And the other thing is I'm going to put in a cube map in this room. Try to plonk it right in the middle as best I can here. And now we'll just do a file save. And we will run our map. And we'll see what the look is. Now in the next one, we're actually going to put the door in. And when we put the door in, we'll actually be able to go out there. Uh, but we'll just no clip to get out there. So no big deal. Um, to move around the level and so forth. Just got to wait for Left 4 Dead. Load the map. map is unplayable and we're just double checking our distance here yep everything's pretty good you can see out i don't think zombies can come in with uh you know that height and everything but we'll probably also lower the lighting there just a little bit but yeah there you go there you have it we have made a window we i've shown you some of the issues you may run into uh with the carve tool and we're good so now let's go on ahead and uh, let's do a no clip here. And hit the tilde A key, type no clip, and we'll just fly right through the wall there. You can see we even get a bit of shadowing. And a later, way later tutorial, we'll cover lighting and uh, how that, you know, I'll show you how to increase or decrease shadow resolution. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hope you liked this tutorial. I know it was a bit longer because we had to extend it, but these tutorials are going to slowly get longer and longer uh, for some of them anyway. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that little bell if you would like some notifications. As well, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, go on ahead and hit uh, the join button down below, become a member, get early access to all sorts of videos and stuff like that. And I will see you all sometime tomorrow, actually. Another thing I would like to mention before we go, uh, thanks to everyone who's supported this channel over the years. Uh, I really, really, really do appreciate it. And last but not least, of course, join the Discord if you run into any issues. Have a good one, everyone.